Good evening, parents. My name is Neri Finns. I'm the very proud principal of Felix Rella Senior High. Tonight is your big night. It's the senior parent night. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it in person due to the conditions that we're facing, but nonetheless, we wanted to give you all the information that you needed. You're gonna listen to various people, give you great information on everything you need for your child to be ready to graduate come May or June. At the end of the video, there'll be a jot form we need you to complete and send to us. Have a great evening and it's always a great day to be a Viper. Hi, my name is Alvin Brown, Assistant Principal of Curriculum here at Felix Varela Senior High School. I am located in office number seven in the main office. Seniors, this video um, entails a lot of information and any way, shape or form I can help you, please come to the office, let me know, call me, email me, and I will be able to assist you in any way, shape or form I can. Now I'm gonna pass it over to Sonaria, our graduation coach. Thank you. Good evening, parents. My name is Ms. Anabria, and I am the graduation coach. I'm here to assist you in whatever questions you may have or issues towards graduation. My office is Office 6, or you can contact me at csanabria at dateschools.net. Thank you. Have a great evening. Welcome, parents of the class of 2022. I'm Mrs. Yarrow, Department Chair of Student Services. And I am Mrs. Gonzalez, the college advisor. Following, we will be providing a PowerPoint with a wealth of information for our senior class. You will be able to access the PowerPoint in our Varela website. I hope you enjoy the presentation. Thank you. Have a Viper day. Welcome to the Senior Parent Night, Class of 2022. My name is Mrs. Yarrow. I am the department chair for student services. I'd like to take a moment to present the counseling team. At the moment, we have only two counselors, Mrs. Morales and myself and our CAP advisor, Mrs. Gonzalez. We will be working closely with the seniors. This slide highlights the distribution of seniors based on their last names. For example, Mrs. Yarrow has seniors A through MEF and seniors SAN through Z. And Mrs. Morales has seniors MEG through SAM. Mrs. Gonzalez will work with all seniors in helping them prepare for post-secondary planning. I'd like to now review the graduation requirements that are needed to receive a diploma. 24 total credits, a minimum of 2.0 cumulative unweighted grade point average. Seniors must take the Algebra 1, Geometry, Biology, U.S. History, EOC, and the results constitute 30% of the final course grade. They must also pass the Algebra 1 EOC or a comparative score on the PSAT map, the SAT map, or the ACT map. They also need to pass the Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test or the FSA reading or obtain an SAT or ACT concordance score. They must also take and pass an online course. And finally, complete a community service project. The state requirements for graduation are as follows. English, four credits, one per year. Mathematics, four credits, one per year. They must have algebra one and geometry and two other math courses. Science, three credits, must have biology and two other courses, one having a lab. Social studies, three credits, world history, US history, and government economic in the senior year. A fine, art, a fine art, one credit, visual or performing. This can include dance, band, drawing, etc. And one credit of physical education, personal fitness, half a credit required, and another half credit of a PE elective. Besides all the academic core classes, they need general electives, and within those general electives, an online course is included. Maintain a 2.0 minimum GPA for graduation. The required testing are two part, is in two parts. You must pass the Algebra 1 EOC or a comparative score on the PSAT math, SAT math, or ACT math as well as passing the Florida Standards Assessment English Language Arts FSA ELA test or obtain an SAT ACT concordance score. This slide shows us the minimum scores required for them to obtain concordance scores on the SAT, the ACT, and the PSAT. They can also use the Geometry EOC if passed to, uh, to use instead of the Algebra 1 EOC. In order to qualify for scholar designation, they must sit for the Algebra 1, Geometry, Biology, U.S. History, EOCs. Seniors this year were waived um, the Biology and U.S. History since we were out of school for that year. 
But in order to qualify for scholar designation, Virtual class requirement, that is the online course that is required to graduate. It could be a half a credit or a full credit. Students need to go to www.flvs.net to fulfill the requirement. <laughs> community service, uh, required for students to graduate, a minimum of one community service project, equaling one hour minimum. They must be completed with a nonprofit or governmental institution, and they must attach all documentations to the form that is provided to them. The new deadline for the community service project is February 1st in order to partake in The senior grad track is a very useful tool. Students receive this student history when we met with them in person, but it is available for parents and for students on the student parent portal. This provides important academic information such as the weighted and unweighted GPA, how many community services are completed and the date that they completed it, the total credits they have through 11th grade, not including 12th grade, the online course requirement if they've met it or not, and assessment information whether they pass the algebra one, EOC, the FSA reading, or they have any SAT or ACT concordance scores. This report updates twice weekly on Wednesdays and Fridays. We did provide every senior with a student history, their own individual uh, information on their academics and their graduation. This is an example of a senior letter that we provided the students. Every student received one. It's also um, going to be posted on the website so that you can review uh, what it pertains, uh, the senior letter pertains. A senior letter that that shows that's on track, it, it's kind of kind of hard to see, but I will go over it for you. It provides the total credits, the community service, the online requirement, the assessments, the concordance scores, the GPA, and also provides any comments. If the student is on track, it will say that the student is on track for graduation. So this would be an example of a student that has passed all the assessments, has more than 18 credits, because this year the other six will be accumulated to equal 24. So minimum 18 credits at the time that we met with them. Minimum 2.0, 100 hours community service, so more than the hour that's required, and yes for the online requirement. So this student is. An example of a student that is not on track for graduation would have received the same letter, but would have wherever they're deficient in if it's either the credits or the GPA, the community service or the online requirement, the assessments, if it's um, not passed, it would say F. So this student is a deficient in a lot of areas. And here in the comments, we would, we would have included all the courses that they're missing that they need to do credit recovery for. So this is a student that is not on track for graduation. Again, parents, we did provide each student with a student history and a senior letter. Now Mrs. Gonzalez will give you information regarding the next couple of slides. The Florida Bright Future Scholarship it is a scholarship from the state that is based on academic achievement, SAT or ACT scores, and community service hours. To be eligible for the Florida Academic Scholars, which covers 100% tuition to a state university, a student must have a 3.5 weighted GPA, a 1330 on the SAT, or a 29 on the ACT, and also 100 hours of community service. The Florida Medallion covers 75% tuition and a student must have achieved a 3.0 GPA, weighted GPA, 1210 on the SAT or 25 on the ACT and 75 hours of community service. Students must apply before graduation. If not, they will forfeit the scholarship. The website to apply is www. This slide depicts the national test dates for the SAT and ACT college entrance exams. Fee waivers are available for students who participate in the free Join SCORE today. It is mandatory for all students to create a SCORE account, and this is also required for graduation clearance. Through this platform, students will be able to search for colleges based on academic personal interests, build their own college list, and learn about the college application process. 
stay connected with their counselor and CAP advisor, request transcripts and letters of recommendations, send parents a request to gain access via an email invitation. SCORE also provides parents with financial aid tools so that they can get a better sense of the cost of attendance at various colleges during the selection process. To create an account, students need to go to the link indicated in this slide. Additional SCORE resources. Counselors will use SCORE to send application-related documents such as transcripts. Students can request SAT, ACT, and college application fee waivers, are able to research colleges and manage the application process through this platform. Teachers are able to provide letters of recommendation to colleges upon student email notification. Counselors will also post the following important information, graduation requirements, Florida Bright Futures requirements, college visits, scholarship opportunities, financial aid applications. We are excited to be able to provide SCORE to our students and parents, as well as be available to answer any questions regarding your student's graduation status and post-secondary planning. We will be uploading this PowerPoint to the, Ver the Varela website and the SCORE platform. Vipers, one last important tip or tips, stay on track, be present, focus on your grades, create an account on SCORE, take the SAT, ACT entrance exams, complete your college applications, apply for FAFSA and scholarships, and have fun in all your senior activities. Go Vipers! Good evening, parents and guardians. My name is Miss Lujardo. I am the Activities Director here at Varela, and I made a video to let you guys know what events to expect very, very soon. I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Thank you.